between them. Sterling James Keenan had that road to the title where he had to beat every top contender to get a shot at the gold. Brett Albright was the final oh. step, and Gregory and Albright screwed him, or rather, uh, yeah, Gregory and Albright screwed Sterling out of that opportunity, and it's Sterling and Sebastian Dark going at it on the outside. This is no disqualification, keep in mind. Sterling knows that he's outmanned, outgunned in this matchup because there's no way referee Bobby Williams can keep Sebastian Dark or any other Alliance members that want to come out here from getting involved. Look out here, right back in our merchandise area, and Sterling tosses Albright into our DVDs, into our DVD sellers, and immediately choking with his t-shirt, as this matchup wastes no time getting personal. We mentioned the brawl between the two after the good-natured softball game. They could not cast their personal feelings aside for the good of the city of Ellsworth, and it's carrying over here into our live event. Uh, I don't know that there are... You say good natured, but I mean, really, as long as these two were in it, there was a there was a certain degree of animosity. They were on each other the entire game, verbally. And Sebastian Dark apparently Dark making this a two on one match, cheap shot to uh, sway the tide into the favor of Albright. It seems Dark only interjecting himself when Albright needs it, and these are two of the best wrestlers in IWC, but it's not about wrestling right now, it's about this personal score, as Sterling James Keenan can blame Brent Albright directly, he was under the direction of Dennis Gregory, Security but can Security blame guy. Brent Albright directly for the reason Sterling never had that opportunity at the IWC title, and was really for a couple months actually fired after Gregory convinced Norm Connors that it was Sterling bringing back the Unholy Alliance instead of Gregory himself. And Sterling is, Sterling didn't view this as business. He has he and rightfully is taking this personally. He said, I don't as, as much as I want the title, I've been here trying to get the title. I'm willing to forgo the title to get my hands on Albright. And that's what we're seeing right now. The the Ellsworth Street Brawl. More like Ellsworth Dirt Road Brawl, but still well, we, we apologize. Uh, we know our, our camera crew at dhvideos.com, Digital Horizons, giving you a great up-close and personal shot. They're on the complete other side of this field right now, really uh, barely within any kind of a radius of the ring, brawling amongst these fans. The personal vendetta here uh, is just too much for this ring to contain, and uh, hopefully Sebastian Dark's going to keep his distance, but uh, that is very wishful thinking when you're dealing with a man with... Uh, with the type of mer uh, morals that Sebastian Dark does. We got a chair. Sterling leveling Albright with a chair. Sterling actually requested this matchup with Brent Albright before his championship match. Norm Connors said, go get that title match. But Sterling said he wants Brent Albright first. He has unfinished business. He wants to finish that last step on his road to the title. And really, I got nothing but respect for Sterling James Keenan. However, I, it, he's letting his heart get in the way of his head here. If he's going to get a title shot, he doesn't want to go, go into a match with Brent Albright before that, especially in a street fight. Why why wear yourself out more than you than you have to in order if you know you're gonna be getting that title shot. You wanna go into it one hundred percent and you're probably not gonna to get to Brent Albright is getting slammed into the the Porta John that was occupied. I hope not. No, uh, a, a lady just walked out of it, Joe. Oh, Lord. They, they are in the portable restrooms, brawling. Oh, she was just in there, too. Oh, and Sterling just slammed, uh, apparently, Sebastian Dark's hat into the Florida John because Brent Albright's making his way back here. I hope it was Sebastian Dark Man. and not that lady. You, you are never safe at an IWC event. Amen. No matter who you are or where you are. If Because if the wrestlers don't get you, then apparently the stench of these fans How would you stop with that? Albright's back into the ring. Sterling James Keenan is limping, but he's giving chase. And now finally, this street fight has made it into the IWC ring. Come on, Albright. Ah. Hard right hand to the shooter Brent Albright. And we've seen Albright as a top contender for the IWC championship in the past as well. We've seen him take Ricky Reyes to his absolute limit. But as I mentioned, 
very little, if anything, in this matchup is about wrestling technique to and no off the back suplex. And I gotta say, uh, I think it's worth noting that Sterling James Keenan not wearing his traditional gear. He's wearing the uh, same shorts and shoes he wore from the uh, event. He, he real, I guess, decided to treat this as a street fight. He came to fight. There is no doubt about that. So we probably won't be seeing as five much of the uh, five minutes. Uh, of his knowledgeable mat work and uh, and skills. And really, this is just going to be you know, a lot of punching and hurting each other. Oh, without a doubt. Without a doubt, especially the fact this is really three months in the making that Sterling has wanted to get his hands on Brent Albright. And there's there's really no love lost from Brent Albright towards Sterling either. They, they had a hellacious matchup uh, on Sterling's final road to the title. And there's... There's a definite rivalry budding there as well, with or without the involvement of this newly reformed Unholy Alliance. Oh. And Albright takes Sterling to the outside where Sebastian Dark picks his spot, and there's nothing the official can do about it, powerless to stop this assault in this street fight. And and that's the that's the result of making it a street fight. If you want to look at someone to blame for that, Norm Connors is the one who declared it. Unfortunately, the strength in numbers is hurting Sterling James Keenan at this point. As uh, really, uh, well, I don't know. I don't even know if we consider Brent Albright an official member of this group or not. But there's uh, there's there's really just so much contempt here. We really don't know where the Unholy Alliance stands. As this matchup, I believe they're 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 back by the ring truck, <laughs> continuing to brawl. That's gonna be the DVD. I don't care. <laughs> Where did oh, it? Another. Uh, we, we're, we're having trouble. Our monitors have gone out, Mr. Farnsworth. We're, 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 we can't really get a good shot of this. We don't have the view that uh, Marcus with uh, Digital Horizons. Brent has. Albright just speared Sterling James Keenan into the side of the ring truck. Oh. Good question. Wait a minute. Let me go check. And our our eye in the our our field reporter Norm Connors. Plus we got Marcus standing on the ring. I hear. Finding out what's going on. We'll we'll await the report. Until then, uh, here's Joe with the weather. Await. Oh, oh, well, we got, Joe. We got an update. Grant Albright just put Sterling James Keenan under the tire of the truck. Oh God. What is he doing? Who has the keys? Brent, well, hopefully not Brent Albright. Oh, okay. so in the ignition, he's getting into the truck. Albright's getting into the damn, the damn rental truck. He is going to end Sterling's career. Remember what Gregory? Career, he's going to end his life. <laughs> Gregory wanted to to forcibly take away all potential title competition. That's why he got Sterling fired. If he couldn't end his career, he's going to end his damn life. So we seriously, this is murder. Do Albright, not let this happen. Albright is going too far. He's attempting to commit a justifiable homicide. Oh God! Sterling got himself out of a tight situation there. Somehow is still fighting the situation off, despite the two-on-one odds, and despite probably just seconds away from having a an 18,000-pound truck on him, or however much that would weigh. And, is, and Sterling just put uh, Albright's head into the ring post. Did someone turn off the truck? I can't hear if the up motor's still I, I think I think somebody, maybe one of the ring crew or security got to it. But best case scenario in that instance would be Sterling's career's ended and, he, and probably never walks again. And, and I've lost track of Sebastian Dart. Check this out, oh. Sterling with a spine buster, cover two, and oh, almost a count of three. Got to regroup for a moment here. What a, what a scary situation that is. I mean, guys rolling around the crowd, but that got deathly serious fast. Well, you know, Albright's compatriot had no problem in stabbing a man to take a title once before. Yeah, this, that's just the Cover, next progress. Two and no up the clothesline, and Dark is back at ringside. He's noticeably hurt. Dark uh, can barely walk, but still interjecting himself here, trying to help Brent Albright as Sterling is headed to the top. Not that familiar ground for Sterling, and he got caught. 
You know, this shows just how much Brent Albright wants it. He was, uh, I'm sure, it, with a clear head, he probably would have thought this could get me arrested. But oh, yeah. it, he wasn't thinking with a clear head. He just wants to end Sterling's career, and he'll take whatever path he needs to. And he may do it yet. Super flex from the top. Good night. And you got to wonder, is that Brent Albright's doing? Is that Ten Dennis done by 10 minutes. Dennis Gregory getting into his ear? Is that Sebastian Dark getting into his ear? We don't really know. But this is a more ruthless and really a more deadly Brent Albright than we saw when he was strictly a single competitor on his own. As he pulls Sterling up, he does not want to end this matchup. He wants to end Sterling's career and take him out of the title picture before he gets to Dennis Gregory. Oh, and just peppering his head with punches. <laughs> and so much power behind them. Albright, about, about 250 pounds, maybe more, just solid muscle. Oh, T-bone time, overhead suplex. Sterling lands awkwardly. Is Albright going to attempt to end it this time? He attempts but is unsuccessful. Sterling is still able to escape. I am, I, I gotta say, I'm impressed that this has actually become somewhat of a wrestling match. After the, after the brawl that we just saw, it degenerated into a wrestling match. I, Brent Albright apparently sticking to what he knows, and what he knows is wrestling. Both these guys took so much out of each other, they're sticking to their instincts now, and Sterling just got a victory almost out of nowhere. Here is your winner, SJP Sterling James Peter. And you know, if there was a word to describe that win, it was slick. He, he pulled a move out that apparently Brent Albright either hasn't encountered or wasn't expecting. And oh, Dark just got it right in the face. Dark wanted.